Hello everybody, this is me, Sibomon19j here, and welcome to the last day of 2019 and the end of the decade for the 2010s, or 2010 decade, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm not going to do anything too special, I'm not going to do like a, like a video of all of my, of, uh, I'm not going to do a video of clips of my favorite YouTube videos I made this year, but instead I'm going to do more of a small update for you guys and just a review of 2019 in general. Um, oh and also I'm going to talk about copper and what to look forward to in 2020 because I have a, a like, I have at least an announcement to make at the end. So let, let's start with how this channel went in 2019. This channel did great. It went amazing. I'm, but, and before I even dive into specifics let me just say this. I'm Thank you guys so much for over 400 subscribers as of right now, well, at least over 420, and I you know I just can't believe you know this this these past couple of weeks, um, this channel has been growing you know in views and comments and likes and subscribers, and I feel like it's mostly because of the Nintendo Switch had to charge the Joy Cons. Um, last week it was Christmas, and a lot of people got Nintendo Switches over the holidays, and from my understanding that there are, there are some people who don't know about how to charge a Joy-Con so I guess they found my video and if you found my video I'm thankful that you clicked on my video above everyone else's <laughs> so that video like exploded and it actually reached over 100,000 views that's my first ever video that has reached 100,000 views and I'm so happy I'm so thankful and as of right now it's my most popular YouTube video so to all of you guys who watched that video, I thank you guys so much. And and before I even continue on, I I'm gonna admit that there are some problems with that video, the length, um, how I drag, how I keep on saying the same thing over and over again, and the long breaks in that video of like like it's supposed to be just I'm, if I, if I hear a noise, it's probably close to my house, so I'll stop just to make sure that that noise doesn't get any louder. And when, when I f and I feel like the close is clear, then I go back to the video. So, apologies for that. But that video did have criticisms that I I did take in, and I'm hoping to um, continue with those criticisms, like dragging the video on too long. Even though I don't really intend to do that, it's just by accident. And just making videos short and appealing if. Or oh, uh, short and entertaining if it's something small as like charging your joy cons. So yeah, that video has over 100,000 views. I'm happy. I cannot believe it. And this channel has over 400 subscribers. And every year, I usually go on with a, a goal. At the beginning of the year, it makes my channel grow. So like, let's say, at the beginning of 2019, I had 300 subs uh, subscribers. By June and July, I want to at least have 350. That way, by the end of the year, I can have at least almost 400 uh, subscribers and thankfully it, it happened and even once we one even once we hit 400 subscribers these uh, these last couple of weeks it still kept going it kept getting new subscribers almost every day and I'm so thankful for that so any of you guys out there who have subscribed to my channel thank you so much I appreciate it and I hope you stick around for more because this channel does have a lot when it comes to Super Mario and Nintendo related stuff so, not only that, but 2019 also brought in two new uh, video series that I created. First one was eBay Finds, um, which it's just a video of me looking, to, uh, unboxing, it's, it's like an unboxing videos, but for eBay, for uh, for, uh, for stuff I found on eBay, um, usually I'll probably put them in a huge collection, so I can, uh, if, they're, if they're the same thing. But if not, if it's just like, oh, like a, uh, like a Kelly Toy Mario plush, I'll just Unbox him by himself unless he came with the Donkey Kong plush, which he did, and I did a video on that. And after that, there was the Let's Review My Collection series, uh, a video series in which I'm, like, I'm going to go and look over all of my Mario merch that I ha that I have obtained over the years. And so, like, let's say for example, Hot Wheels. I've, whenever Hot Wheels makes a new Mario Hot Wheels line, I usually go and collect them. And now I'm going to take a look back at all, all the other Hot Wheels, and I'm going to do uh, to do a like a, a little review of them. 
So any videos that didn't, like any of these products that didn't have unboxing videos, they, they will have a chance to shine in these, you would say, review videos. And thankfully, both of them received very well by you guys. So thank you so much. You gave these video series a, a good welcome to the channel, and I'm happy. You know, I'm happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying making these videos because they're so fun to make and take and you know and look back at, uh, at all of these old figurines that I wasn't able to do an unboxing video for. So be on the lookout for more videos like those in 2019. You know, in, <laughs> In 2020, I was almost about to say 2019. Um, anything else I need to go off by? Um, no. Overall, for the YouTube channel this year, uh, it's been pretty great. And it's all because of you guys. And also, you know, I'm not even, uh, I can't even talk right now. But you guys have made this year for the channel very great and awesome. And I thank you for that. And, yeah. So... Overall, that's just that's just the YouTube side of 2019. My personally, my 2019, it was okay. It was a little bit mixed. Um, I am an adult now, so yay! I'm 18 years old. I'm legal now, <laughs> and um, this year was mostly just the transition of from becoming a teenager to an adult, and also trying to get into college. Uh, that that college process is a little bit hard. It's it's not that hard, but you know, it's it's very tough to get through. So, so I've been doing that ever since the summertime, and I also got my driver's license, so yay! Um, so hopefully I can at least do like some sort of hunting videos again after such a long time. Or maybe even the car journey, I can bring that back up since I, I'm now able to drive. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So 2019 was a mixed bag for me, and uh, and even though there was some stuff that happened over the this year, um, I'm still looking at it on a bright and saying, okay, well, you know, show this training team did have its ups and downs, but I can look for, I can look back on it and have at least a good laugh at it, especially with Pat South, you know, that, that was fun. That, I, like, going there for the, for, like, th for all three days was just amazing. 2017, I went there on Sunday. Uh, last year, 2018, I went there for Friday and Saturday, and then this year, I went for all three days, and my, my God, all three days was just full of fun and excitement. And just blood adrenaline, and it was just oh, it was so fun. And um, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it for my 2018 in review. Pretty great, pretty awesome, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you. And now let's talk about the one thing that's going to happen tomorrow, or at least I think, copper is going to be put into a fet, and oh boy, it's going to be a f 2020 for YouTube is going to be. Very interesting because we don't know what copper is going to do to us. Sure, there was information put out by the FTC, like, hey, you know, this is what we, this is uh, what we see as kid uh, kid directed content, well, as made for kids. But and YouTube has an algorithm which doesn't really make it a whole lot better for us YouTubers, especially with an algorithm made by bots and how bots are going to easily easily detect like, oh. You know, uh, this video contains a Mario plushie. Oh, it's made for kids. When in reality, it might not even be made for kids. Uh, same thing, like, honestly, like, a lot of YouTubers are going to enter the 2020 year with a little bit of fear and confusion as they don't know what's going to happen to the YouTube channels. They don't know if they're going to get fined. They, they, they don't know if they're going to get taken down or etc. Or maybe even worse. For me, however, I'm, I'm still not... I'm still going to think about copper, but not have a lot of feel. Um, and even if the FTC doesn't contact with me, I'm telling like, hey, you know, show my older content. I was, I was just, I, when I was, when I started making videos, I was 12 years old. And, and I would tell them like, hey, even though I was 12 at that time, I'm, s my content back then, it was still not made for kids. It's not directed for kids. It's not a aimed towards kids. If anything, it's only appealing to kids. But even then, I'm not making my videos directed to children. And if you are a child watching this, then this is in no means of me telling you to get out or pack your bags and go find a new channel. No, stay here because you know you can have a lot of we you can have a lot of fun on this channel. You know because you know we do toys. I want to do video games next, and yeah, and just discussions about Nintendo in general. So yeah, this if anything, this channel is made for 
fan, it's made for children, teenagers, adults, elders, etc. It's loaded with it's a wide audience. And that's what my channel is for, a wide audience. If anything, it's just that people can come here and have a few laughs or, or find something like this plush and be like, oh, that's cool. Let me go see if I can find it online. You know, because in reality, I made this channel. Uh, I'll just tell you this right now. As a child, I made it. I, as a child, I made this YouTube channel just for the YouTube plaques. I wanted it like back then. I was seeing a lot of YouTubers of mine get the silver play buttons and the door and the door play buttons. And I was like, hey, that looks cool. I want one of those. So I made a YouTube channel and I was trying to get to that. But as the years went on, I realized like, hey, my fans are more important. Let me make more videos towards them and let me grow as a YouTube. Not because of a YouTube plaque, but because, well, ugh, hold on, I'm messing my sentence up. As the years went on, it went from trying to get a YouTube plaque to just trying to make people happy in general. Uh, like I said, I could care less about the YouTube plaques now, especially because they they changed the designs and it's, oh, I hate them. You know, I, I liked it better when it was just a silver little play button in a uh, in a plaque. Now it's like this sir, like this civil, my little plaque and inside it contains the button which I don't really like you know I'm not a huge fan of it so I now I now face my head in the opposite direction whenever it comes to trying to get a YouTube plaque now it's just trying to make you guys happy and grow an audience you know grow a, a subscriber fan base to where I can get to that 1,000 subscriber mark so I can make money and then hopefully one day get to 100,000 subscribers to get a YouTube plaque um, so right now, my main focus is to make you guys happy, and that's really why I created this channel. Just because, like, hey, you know, Mario is a global phenomenon thing. So let me make my channel based off content on this little guy here, so I can get a white for, so I can get a white audience, so I can talk to and try to get into the Nintendo community online through online. So my whole intention as to this channel was to never make. Uh, content for little kid, little children, or just kids in general. You know, I got in here so I can first of all try to upgrade my social life because um, if you ever meet me in real life, chances are I'm probably going to be a stuttering mess. So me making videos on YouTube that are being seen by everyone throughout the whole entire world, it sort of does put me at ease. Like whenever I'm trying to talk to somebody, because it does make me better. And I'm able to have a conversation in real life because I'm making videos in which people are, are, are watching, which I don't even know who they are. So that's handy, dandy, and fine. So and I, and and that too. So yeah. Not only that, but it does sort of help me connect an audience, and it really does try to get me into, into the Nintendo community because, uh, like I said, I'm not I'm like like. On social media, I'm really not that type of growing person who's trying. If any, I'm just trying to get to. I'm just trying to get a fan base by being me, by being myself, and being myself contains just having fun with Mario stuff. You know, like getting Mario merch, playing Mario video games, playing Nintendo video games. You know, I'm not trying to have this fake personality to where I'm like, "Hey, kids, come on to this channel," or to all you old people, come watch this channel. You know, it's just me being myself. And if I get a kid audience, well then, okay, sure, that's not my intended audience, but I'm glad with, you know, having at least some sort of audience. So, FTC or Cobb, if you're watching this, just please understand that not every channel is aimed towards kids. You know, people are, there are people out there who do have a wide variety of audiences, and they don't intend to make the content for kids just like me. So, yeah, and also, I looked through my uh, audience thing on YouTube Studio, and apparently, there's like 18 and, thir and 24, 34 and up, and the 13 and little range. And it's like, hey, you know, look at that. I'm a white, I'm, my channel contain, contains a white audience, which that's what I'm going for, you know. I don't want to make my channel one sided, want to appeal to one side or the other. I don't want that, you know, because that's not what my channel is for. It just made so that. Uh, I can connect to the Nintendo community, they can come here and have a few laughs, talk about Nintendo and more stuff in the comments below, and I'll, I'll learn to about with them also because I love the same thing that they love, you know, which is Nintendo and Mario. So yeah, I'm looking into next, into tomorrow, 2020, with no fear with Copper, like, and hey, and if Copper comes 
at me, and then I'm gonna come right back at them because, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go down that easy. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Cup. You know, I I'm gonna I'm not gonna be too afraid for 2020 because you know it's just Cup and you know, FTC. I can deal with that. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm being too cocky now, but you know yeah, FTC is that. I'm not gonna worry about it for now. You know, it's just gonna. Hey, if the FTC comes at me, well, then I'm gonna tell me, hey, well, you know, maybe you should do a little fact check and look at my channel because I don't contain. I don't. My videos are not directed to kids, and I don't plan on to. I don't ever plan on to making directed for kids content. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the YouTube and Copper site. Now let's talk about 2020. Uh, 2020 is going to contain my eighth YouTube anniversary. It's Possibly, it's only start possibly me going to cottage soon, so there's that. And also, finally, I don't know if there's gonna be any more stuff I'm talking about. But if I think of more stuff for 2020, I'll talk to that and I'll tell you about that in a different YouTube update video, in a diff, in a different video update, or just in a, in a video of me unboxing some Mario merch. Um, Patch South 2020 is gonna happen on January 17th, and it would go on through the 19th. January 19th is on a Sunday. And that same day, it's my YouTube anniversary. And I'm so happy to announce that I'm going to Patch South 2020 again for the fourth time in a row. I went there in 2017, got there last year, went, went again this year, and now I'm going again in 2020. So, yeah. And, and I'm hoping to look back to uh, defend my title for my uh, Patch, for my Martins Aces to uh, first place tournament winner. I went there. And I, I played Martin's Aces this year. I went oh, I went into a tournament this year for Martin's Aces at Pat South and I came out in first place and th and, and, and luck and somehow in some way and thankfully they're doing it again this year. So I'm gonna have to go back there and defend my title in which I would have hopefully I would have that film for you guys. And that's another thing too. For Pat South I'm thinking about doing vlogging. You know, yes, I had done vlogs for this Pat South, but not in it's just just me filming like some sort of like area and just showing like, hey, this is what Pat South has to offer, and not me talking about it, you know. I want to go and vlog with me talking about Pat South, like me like, hey, look at this thing, look at this thing. Hey, here's me at a tournament. Come watch me play. So, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about that as of right now, and just saying, okay, well, if I do this, well, then I'm gonna have to make sure this. I first of all, I need to get a microphone or something, cause the audio man. Oh boy, it's it's fine. If I talk, if I try to talk to you guys at Pat South, it's only be me very quietly with the with the noise being in the background very very loud. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going back to Pat South 2020. I'm so happy. Maybe Nintendo could be there. I'm not too sure, but if they are, I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be very very excited for Pat for Pat South that year. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this update video, guys. I hope you enjoyed 2019. On the channel, and I hope your 2019 was, you know, very good. You know, because sometimes 20 years can be a little bit up and down for some people. And I'm just hoping for the best of you guys for next year. Hopefully, everything works out smooth, smooth, uh, smoothly for you guys. And yeah, I, uh, that's it. I'm done with this video. Thank you guys so much for this incredible 2019 journey and YouTube journey. And I will see you guys in the next video. Well, not in the next video, but in 2020. <laughs> you know. And thank you so much for these past seven years and the and continue on to the eighth year. And thank you so much for making the channel thrive and grow because I really, really do appreciate it. So uh, this is going to be my last time saying this for the 2019 and the decade of 2010s. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And comment down below. You know how was your 2019? Go how how did your 2020? Tw oh, how did your 2019 go? And this is Superman19J saying, thank you guys so much for everything that you for everything that you guys have been doing for this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and enjoying my content. Thank you, thank you guys so much for allowing me to be your your entertainer, your little uh, uh, I don't even know how to say say it, but thank you guys so much for letting me for letting me entertain you guys with my Mario collection and my Mario obsessed craziness and. Thank you so much for making 2019 an amazing year. This is Superman19J signing out.